first of all good morning everyone my name is pratyush and uh, from tomorrow onwards we are going to start our three days demo session after that we will continue our regular batch okay so i just wanted to know uh, how many of you guys are belongs to cs background can you please raise the hand cs background you guys are from cs background the rest all are from you guys are from mostly electronics right okay so mostly i guess so everyone is familiar with uh, just give me a moment yeah everyone are familiar with uh, mathematics right maths not that much level of math but some extent of maths do you know right so here in python we are not going to see any maths right but we are going to see little bit bit of complex solution like addition subtraction multiplication like we we are going to see simple maths okay that everyone knows okay now what are the things we have in this full stack python development tree okay first of all so it is going to be start from today onwards and we'll be having three days demo session just give, give them few more minutes they are just joining okay and it's a humble request to online guys please uh, keep your uh, mic on mute that would be good okay fine so in this training sessions we are going to see the full stack training right python full stack training and here we are going to start with python okay we are going to start with python after two months after completion of python we will be starting the ui part in ui what are the things we have like html css javascript then we are we are going to also see react js okay these all co covers under the ui part then parallelly also based on the requirement parallelly we all, we will also see uh, the database part that comes under sql as well as oracle okay after completion of that after completion of ui part we are going to start the framework of python that is nothing but django okay so all this will comes within 5 months 5 or 6 months we will complete this okay in between this 5 and 6 months we are going to see lots of parameters lots of parameters we have to cover okay we have to fulfill it what are these parameters first of all so let me go with initial things three days uh, three days demo session we have from 11:30 to 12:30 it could also extend up to 10 or 15 minutes okay next is we have all this sessions is going to conduct from monday to friday there is no class on saturday so it is going to be happen monday to friday okay saturday we have something crucial classes which is known as soft skill development saturday okay on saturday you will be having soft skill classes there you are going to develop your soft skill okay like communication or aptitude reasoning whatever the things you you have to develop it okay then saturday on monday uh, from monday to friday you will be having along with the the classes you will be having practice sessions okay so in this practice sessions you will be having i will be there with you guys okay from as i am a full time trainer so from 9 onwards 9 am onwards to up to 6 pm i'll be here okay so if you have any kind of doubt if you will be have uh, facing any kind of doubt you can contact me so after completion of demo session after completion of demo session we will be uh, you will be having my number so at any 
time you can contact me if you have any queries if you have any type of queries questions regarding the subject regarding your career you can contact me okay so this is about all the timings and the days okay what are the things we are going to provide inside this first of all you will be having weekly weekly test okay you will be having weekly test every week you you will be having one test okay one test and this is mandatory this is mandatory okay this mock test and mock interview both are mandatory because we are going to also give your profile to the client company okay every month there will be one interview client interview okay based on python based on ui based on database so every month you will be having one interview more than that also could be possible okay but every month you will be having one interview that is client interview and there we are going to send your profile based on this weekly test and based on the mock interview i am going to take your mock interview i am going to take your weekly test okay that is mandatory to attend it oh, okay uh, just let me ask one more question to online and offline both okay so almost 22 people uh, people are in online so are you facing any problem do you have any problem with english language do you have any problem with english language are you able to understand everything okay fine because this class is only based on english okay english only there is no telugu okay fine fine so weekly test that is mandatory here. as well as we are also going to see weekly test plus mock interviews okay mock interviews and this mock interviews is totally based on whatever we are going to see here okay apart from that also apart from that if you are being practicing properly okay that you will be having a good mock interview points based on your points we are going to refer to the client company okay so this weekly test and mock interviews are really important here got it next is project we are also going to provide you project that is real time project real time project okay now in this real time projects parallelly after completion of python and after completion of ui part parallelly we are going to see the real time projects on full stack python okay full stack python comes with the ui part the database part as well as the back end means python plus framework so framework we are going to use is what django here okay those who don't know what is django django, django is a framework okay django is a framework likewise in java we have serverlet we have jsp okay so like likewise here also we have framework called django got it okay real time projects after that we are also provide going to provide you internship okay we are also go going to provide you internship based on your weekly test and mock interviews we are going to provide you internship if you have good marks if you are having good marks in internship uh, sorry test and interviews then we will refer you to internship program okay and for project and internship both are going to provide you with yokta technology okay yokta technology this is a tech company it is a parent company of harsha training okay and that is a software company yukta technology that the internship certificate it is going to provide from yukta technology got it it is also going to be a 3 month of internship program got it next uh, resume preparation we are also going to give you the resume preparation okay
we are also provide uh, going to provide you resume preparation so those who are having any backlog any kind of uh, if you have any gaps then also we are going to give you the preparation of resume how to prepare if you have any gaps okay how to prepare the resume of it see i have often i have uh, seen the people often i have seen the people they are preparing the resume based on the internet so the internet is providing you are just uh, editing that and giving to the uh, giving on the, on the interviews right that is an inappropriate thing because if you are just copying all the contents from the internet you will be having less knowledge about the resume and you should have 100% of knowledge about your resume whatever you are mentioning inside the resume you should be having 100% of knowledge about that okay last month i have uh, i took one interview and that interview was based on python only python plus java on that interview i have seen just give give them a moment let them arrange this okay so in last interview as i told you that last month i took one interview based on python and java right and on that uh, resume that particular person has mentioned that i know basic of java basic of c basic of everything so what that what uh, does that mean basic basic means what only what is python what is java what is c programming that is only or what is the actual meaning of basic here if somebody ask you what what are the things you know what are the technical tools you know so if you are saying like i know basic of python i know basic of java then simply they will say okay you can also basically go here go from here okay so your first interaction should be more interactive when it comes to interviews right okay let me ask you let me keep this all things aside and make it more familiar okay more interactive let's make it more interactive so almost 10 people from here they belongs to cs bag right okay yes or no see one more thing i want response everyone had the uh, breakfast okay good enough so i want response proper response okay don't shout but respond okay fine i just wanted to know almost 10 people are belongs to cs background rest of are from ec electronics or other field right so one by one you tell me what makes you to join this python or what makes you to learn python anyone can anyone can answer it what makes you learn this python or what makes you to just jump into this don't hesitate first of all the only mantra or only rule of learning any course is don't hesitate in front of the trainer because if you hesitate you cannot do anything in your life you have to keep your hesitation aside be cool here be interactive then we will start our session properly okay 
So, tell me, what makes you? Yes. What's your good name? Don't, don't stand. You, huh? Raju. Okay. Tell me, Raju, what makes you to learn Python? Sorry. Okay. Okay. So online students, please wait for a while. Uh, wait for more five minutes. We are going to shift the class for offline students. So just don't uh, leave the session, right? Just give us uh, five minutes. I will continue with you, Raji, Raju. Okay. Ah, that's what I was going to say. Shall we start? Raju, where is where is Raju? Huh. Tell me. Okay. Easy to learn Python. Next. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Trending language, okay. Libraries, yes. Job openings. Job openings, okay. We have job openings for railways as well. Good. Okay. Why not C, C++? Because that C and C++ are basic only, right? When it comes to programming language. Why not C and C++? Why only Python? C and C++, difficult language. Okay. So see, everyone has its their own uh, perspective, their, their own thought of process, right? Python is something, first of all, it is ob obviously it is in trend. Okay, it is in trend. But what makes it to keep all this aside, all the language aside and use this Python. First of all, as somebody says that uh, library, library, right? Something is known as library. In, in the Python, we have something called library. 
दैट इज समथिंग विच मेक्स पाइथन इजियर एज वेल एज मोर यूज नाउ अडेज ओके बिकॉज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट अदर ट्रेडिशनल लैंग्वेजेस लाइक सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा दैट इज मच कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज देर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लैंग्वेज इट इज वेन इट कम्स टू सेंटेक्स वेन इट कम्स टू राइटिंग द कोड somehow the c c++ or java is kind of a complexity they have the complexity or complicated language it is and if we have something which can be done with two lines why to go with 10 line of code are you getting it if we are e if we have easy language which can be able to write any particular program within 10 line of code why, why to go for 100 line of code that it it is also used for reducing the code python is also something which reduces the code and there is less co uh, code complexity when it when i say code complexity there is 0.05% of co code complexity in python it is simple why everyone knows english i guess right simple english general english right whatever we are speaking whatever we are talking when it comes to python we are just implementing as it is okay when i say print what do you understand by print see i am not explaining anything of python here just general talk we are saying okay what do you understand by print what do you understand by print printing anything right printing anything anything it could be a paper printing or it could be in our programming as well printing means showing anything okay in real time printing means printing a soft copy into hard copy in programming also we are printing our statement from our input to the console and this console is nothing but our screen okay so if i ask you what is programming language what is programming language yes anyone yeah by the okay what's your native language yes tell me what's your native language tell everyone uh, the native language is telugu i guess right anyone hindi hindi person no aap hindi person okay so everyone are from this south state only right okay fine so your language is telugu you can understand telugu as well as english yes machine only can understand programming language everyone has its own language right the britishers knows only english language we indians knows either our native language or hindi right programming is nothing but which can be understandable by only the system okay and to write any programming language the programmer is required who is the programmer us we are the programmer right we are the programmer we are going to provide the input to the machine and machine has the work to process it and to understand the that particular thing and to convert again it into our understandable language which is nothing but english right that is the meaning of programming language so what is actually programming language or programming what is the programming it is nothing but the set of instruction we can say set of instruction in telugu also while learning the initial telugu you have the words key, uh, keys or we can say the letters individual words individual letters right for learning english also a b c d e f g is required alphabets for telugu i don't know what you guys are calling it whatever it is varnamala for hindi also that is the same right so likewise in 
machine language also we have to learn something we have to learn few things then only we can program it then only we can implement it likewise generally we are learning from the basic from the basic means while learning english we are starting from the alphabet while starting from the alphabets we are learning uh, letter by letter what is the meaning of this a and what else i can do with this a right so these are what learning things from the initial steps in programming also we have to learn from the initial step we can't directly jump into the programming we have to learn the basic we have to learn the initial step of the programming language right and what is the initial step the basic the core of the python the core of the java the core or the basic of the c c++ right and one more thing those who belongs to any other uh, field like electronics or civil or bba right there is no requirement of knowing any other languages when i say other languages means c c++ java there is no requirement of learning those things python is the simplest programming language among them i will explain you why it is simple when it comes to features when it comes to the programming terms i will explain you in deep about why python is so easy to learn why python is so easy to understand okay now few more thing i would like to tell you resume preparation i have already told you mock interviews mock test i have told you weekly test we are going to conduct daily doubt session will be there okay wherever you are getting any kind of doubt every day you will be having doubt session as i told you from 6 a uh, sorry 7 am to 9, uh, 6 pm the we have lab in third floor right you can use that lab okay from 9 am to 6 am i will be available in this premises okay so you can ask me you can contact me any time without any hesi hesitation right next is uh, okay i have already explained you what are the terms what are the things we are going to see first we are going to complete we are trying to complete uh, the python within two and a half month okay after that we will start the front end part in front end we have html css javascript then react js along with that parallelly if possible parallelly because based on the client requirement you may have Uh, the interviews based on front end you may have the interview based on the database or you may have the uh, interview based on the back end python or django right so based on the requirement we can go for the uh, changing of our course content okay similarly uh, parallelly we will, we will go for the database after completion of front end we will start django part okay for knowing full stack python django is much more important okay django is much more important okay so let me let me go for few more things i have asked you uh, that uh, what makes you to learn python you said uh, it is easy it is uh, simple to learn it has libraries it has uh, lots of uh, stuffs you have to say right but python why python is now it is in trend why python is in trend now have you heard about machine learning have you heard about data science have you heard about gui applications okay have you ever heard about the web development so whatever we are going to see that comes under web development only full stack development comes under web development okay when you learn html css javascript the front end part you can become web developer front end developer you can become when you learn back end languages okay like java python you can become back end developer 
along with all this if you learn all this you can become full stack developer right apart from this also it is not like a java python is not like a java python is not like a c or c++ where only particular domain or not particular technology only can be worked here in python if you are learning python you can also become web developer you can also become a machine learning engineer you can also become a deep learning engineer computer vision engineer you can also become a data scientist okay you can become data analyst you can become data engineer so if you are learning python this many scope is going to uh, you can become these things in front of this python lots of stuff lots of scope it is going to open now if you learn python you will be having lots of scope you will be having lots of way which way you are going you want to go that you have to decide after learning this python and those who are going to enroll for python core plus advanced for them it is a clearer picture for them because after knowing the python they can also go for machine learning they can also go for uh, data analysis so n number of scopes you have after learning this okay so that depends on you guys along with this uh, practice session i will be there for you okay i have uh, more classes apart from this also i have more classes so evening time okay morning time also i will be available mostly evening time after the lunch 2:30 pm i will be available full time for you full time in the sense up to 6 i will be available right any time anyway any time you can ask me anything even if you are not here you want to ask me on phone on call you can call me and you can ask me okay that is one thing okay next it's already 12 now we will start something okay not let's not remove this i will start <clears throat> okay tell me okay th those who are from those who are from uh, cs background i just wanted to uh, ask you one thing what is the difference between java and python what is the difference between c and python or other traditional language versus python can you explain it yes can you explain it online as well yeah python yes. comes under implicit and java and c++ c all those traditional things come under explicit could you please come one more time no uh, python comes under the implicit implicit and then uh, java c++ c all those come under explicit you are not able to understand okay. even i am also fine okay thank you so much uh, so basically when it comes to difference between python and java or any other traditional languages okay the most important term is it has easy syntax python is having easy syntax right so i am not going to show you today because if i show you now you will get confused okay i just today i just wanted to tell you the deeper thing about our course okay what are the things we are going to provide you and what are the tools we are going to provide you i hope everyone has its their own uh, laptop or system right everyone have fine so now from first day onwards what you have to do is you have to practice from the initial days if you keep on practicing 
you won't face any difficulties okay anyway i will be there for you so if you have any kind of queries doubts regarding the subject i will be there you can ask me anything okay and and also notes we are going to provide you every day after completion of class i'll i will be uploading let me show you with my current batches okay so this is uh, this is full stack classroom right here i am uploading every day notes daily notes i am uploading here okay with the topic name as well as the date so here you can find out the date as well as the topic right notes the edit plus notes how i am writing here every day i will be sharing this as well as the programming okay also i am providing you the class work as well as the homework right every day every topic after completion of every topic i am assigning some task here for everyone i am assigning some task here okay this task is mandatory to complete after completion of this i am going to give you the points based on the points you are going to or we are going to refer you for the client company so everything is linked up okay we cannot give you or we cannot uh, just let you go how the work done in colleges okay this is not college first of all so here the punctuality and sincerity is required okay punctuality and sincerity is required here so every day every after completion of uh, the topic we are going to pro provide you the assignment like this so assignment within one or two days you have to complete it got it and notes i am going to provide it like this notes i am going to provide one by one after the completion of whole python one zip file i am going to provide you where all the topics you can easily find it okay this is i am providing because of the basic uh, daily practice okay this is all about the course content or uh, subject now let's go for real app real time application on python what are the real time application for python okay first of all we are with the help of this python we can use web development we can go for web development okay now under this web development what are the terms we have to understand what are the things we have to learn first of all we have to know the front end front end inside this front end part what i have already told you that is html css javascript and also if you have a good knowledge in node.js you would be easily able, uh, wow. able to understand what react js okay or else that is also trainer is good for front end we have the trainer right and html css javascript or react js this is this comes under what front end part when it comes to back end back end okay we have first of all we have to learn the python okay we have to learn python along with this database and in this database you will be seeing sql plus oracle okay sql plus oracle with this you will be having django okay django and this django is nothing but a framework okay it is a framework okay 
it is a framework right so completion of all this okay completion of all this after complete completing all this you can become what web developer okay or else you can also call it as full stack web developer or full stack python developer if you complete this all then you can become full stack web developer if you co complete along with this you can become python developer right also with this it comes with it comes with the data science field okay data science field now what is this data science first of all okay it is kind of a tree it is kind of a tree okay inside this tree we have n number of tools okay like machine learning okay so machine learning is also part of data science next we have deep learning okay we will say dl deep learning as well as we have nlp so with the help of this python you can also go for machine learning engineering you can also go for deep learning along with this you will be having nlp now what is this nlp natural language processing right natural language processing so you can do this nlp as well along with this if you want you can go for open cv right open cv that comes under computer vision okay computer vision so let me write it this is machine learning okay yes this is deep learning this is natural language processing right and this is something computer vision okay computer vision why we are using these why we are learning these things machine learning comes under prediction of anything okay prediction of the future data prediction of futuristic thing okay deep learning comes under ai part artificial intelligence actually ai is the superset of all this these are the subset of ai okay but deep learning is something comes under with something deeper learning of some more machine learning and more deep learning as well as it also includes something called natural language processing with this all this you can also go for data science okay with this along with this you can also add something like data analysis data analysis right all this can be uh, you can become what data science uh, data scientist okay next also it includes we are talking about real time application now application means with the help of this data science also we can create more applications okay more application see again i am telling you it is not like you are learning these things so you cannot become data scientist learning these things will will be an add on knowledge for you this is an additional knowledge okay this will provide you much more a higher package when it comes to data science okay knowing these things will be an add on plus point for you okay fine next is along with this you can also go for ui uh, sorry desktop or gui application you can say gui application okay gui application tomorrow i will explain you lots of n number of libraries we have to create multiple multiple applications okay to create multiple applications we have n number of uh, libraries okay today i am just going to give you the introduction of what are the things we can create with python okay tomorrow i will explain you with the help of n number of libraries what are the let's suppose this is just uh, web development right 
in web development we have front end part we have back end part but what are the thing we are using in with python to make web development or to create the web application that i am going to tell you tomorrow the n number of uh, libraries modules okay modules i am going to tell you next desktop gui application graphical user interface with the help of python you can also create desktop or gui application okay fine next also with the help of this real uh, sorry with the help of this python you can also create something called open cv okay i'll already have shown you open cv open cv that is the meaning of open computer vision computer vision okay computer vision this also comes under data science this also comes under deep learning machine learning and deep learning right this works with the web camera webcam of your system okay okay what what are the things we have inside this recognition recognition what recognition it could be a face recognition face recognition those who are those who are in uh, already pursuing some uh, courses or uh, sorry not courses those who are pursuing their btech or any uh, graduation they can easily create the projects real time projects with face recognition with hand gesture recognition hand gesture recognition okay these are some terms comes under the projects of open cv and these are really important uh, body detection uh, or body recognition we can say body recognition okay likewise n number of applications you can create with the help of open cv here okay so n number of thing we have n number of application we can create with the help of this python okay for today more important thing i am going to tell you okay more important thing i am going to tell you that is the history of python history of python okay history of python so what is the history of python first of all who is the inventor or the creator of python Guido Van Rossum. Okay, the name is Guido Van Rossum. Okay, name says what? Guido Van Rossum. He is the inventor of or the creator of Python. So I I would write is the inventor of Python. And they have created this 1991. So in the year 1991, 1991, they have started implementing. Okay, they have started implementing Python. Okay, who is taking care of Python now? Who is taking care of Python now? So the name is Python Software Foundation. Python Software Foundation, right? So they are actually keeping track or the maintenance can is done by whom? Python Software Foundation. Okay. Also, they have some multiple versions. Tomorrow I will explain you in deep about the history of Python, in deep about the uh, version of Python. Okay. Till now, do you have any question? If you have any query, do you want to ask anything? Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask anything? Yes, online. Online, guys. Do you have any question? Yes. Okay. 
so one more thing whoever uh, those who are belongs to uh, non cs background no need to worry the with, for the programming language okay it is as simple as the english as simple as the english only you have to be careful about the logics that is also not now after some sometimes we are going to play with the logics okay in python or in any languages we have to have a good knowledge good logical skill yeah hello hello yeah, just give me just give me a moment yeah yeah go ahead hello sir this is sandeep yeah, hi hi i just want to know like uh, as you told uh, i'm in uh, data science graduate i uh, graduated in 2022 in uh, data science okay as you told uh, you will be uh, as you told the uh, python will be helpful for data science as well but will we okay. be uh, the libraries which were included in data science like uh, plotly and uh, matplotlib and uh, skyitlan will we learn those libraries in this class yeah we will learn we will learn up to matplotlib because seaborn uh, is something which is advanced visualization so we will learn yeah, yeah. up to matplotlib what about deep learning will we learn tensor flow no no we are not going to go for deep learning or any data science uh, Terms, okay. We are only going to see the front end part. Uh, sorry, uh, the development part. Here, development means the full stack development. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In Python, like we are going to. See, yeah. Yeah. On. Sorry, sir. So in Python, we are going to see up to uh, the third party APIs like pandas, numpy, matplotlib. That's it, because. Uh, if I go further, means uh, this comes under uh, machine learning, right? More machine yeah, yeah. learning and uh, deep learning li libraries. So I cannot yeah, yeah. go for uh, that uh, more uh, libraries like that. Okay, right. Thank. You. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Do you have any questions? Yes. So from tomorrow onwards, don't miss any class. Tomorrow onwards, we are going to start the Python. Just we have seen the basic of this. Actually, we haven't started the Python yet. From tomorrow onwards, we are going to start the subject. Okay. So don't miss any class. Next two days will be more crucial. Okay. So please don't miss any class. And uh, yeah. Yeah. You have any doubt? Okay. So just uh, Sir wants to talk to you guys. Uh, online guys, don't leave the session. Just uh, wait for a while. Good afternoon, everyone of you. And good afternoon, online students too. And you have gone through the today's demo session, right? So this demo session, I think he had provided you enough information. Okay. Uh, there are two main updates. Yes, please. Yes, clear. Thank you. And there are two main updates that I wanted to give you. And myself, I am Harsha. So I am uh, working as a Pega trainer here, mainly. I just look after all other trainings, okay, me and other, other resources. And mainly I take Pega sessions here. And uh, apart from that, we have trainers for Java, Python, and many other, my, my colleagues are there who will be working along with me on other trainings. Even I will be teaching Java, HTML, all that, but not regularly, okay. Now the two important updates are, first one is the internship, uh, that's like a uh, uh, paid internship, right? I think you got the update about this. So the training program structure is like first three months, whatever that has been conducted. And actually this program is almost for six months to seven months, right? And once the three months is over, we are going to make you into an internship program. You'll get an internship certificate for six months which is from our company where you will be getting a stipend for three months, which is of around 5,000 rupees per month. 
okay but there are certain conditions you have been clearly explained with all the conditions everyone okay students should maintain 80 percent of att attendance throughout that three months and even later okay and the next one is you have to regularly attend the mock interviews of the completed topics whatever is done for two weeks you have to give mock interview and score minimum of six out of ten okay we'll assess you in all different ways like communication and all first we will not consider communication initially we'll mold you in that part communication sessions training sessions will be again separately conducted okay english language communication and we're going to conduct that interview and we are going to conduct the exams okay we will be giving you even aptitude and reasoning uh, training also that is also part of this uh, did you get that information okay and we will conduct exam technically python and all other whatever full stack is included plus this one as well and we will mold you but what we need is your presence first thing first you have to be attending the sessions regularly without failing that's the most important part okay and then you start learning we have the facility for online students we have a support mechanism for classroom students you can sit back here till the evening and you practice we'll give you guidance and all will support you while you are practicing no issues okay and during the last three months we will pay back you five five thousand overall fees whatever that you are paying you are getting fifteen thousand back to your pocket at the end of the training given you are going to be regular okay this condition is strict i hope you got this information right okay suppose what if you are not able to continue you have to inform us anything you inform us and uh, you are taking leave and you want to come in the next batch maybe after next month or so because of emergency okay no problem given you inform us suppose you did not attend last 15 days 20 days you came after 20 days and you said i have an emergency that is not acceptable strictly because you should have at least a minute time and you don't have to call you have to send a whatsapp message you don't have to give a reason why you are going to be off i will not be able to attend from tomorrow for next one month i cannot continue this batch due to my personal reasons just push me into the next batch this is valid within a week you inform suppose you were absent last maximum five days you come back after two weeks you come back after three weeks you come back after one month or two months you said that i am not attending since past two months request is not valid considering you have to be responsible okay that's your responsibility uh, in an emer any emergency situation at least after five days you'll not get time to just uh, send a whatsapp message you'll get or not you'll get right so that's a valid criteria clear everyone and the second most important update is artificial intelligence ai i hope you know that so now the world is in a phase that it is transforming from the traditional way of writing programming to prompt engineering that's called with with the help of ai so it's mandatory that of course today maybe it is not mandatory but tomorrow it is mandatory that you must have the skill of ai you are never going to type anything to write or implement a program that's the future for sure so people who can write better prompts will get better results at the end of the day ai cannot do fully everything okay even though robot is there we have to operate it right same way humans are required so your jobs from programmer will turn into prompt engineer using ai that's how you are going to be as the world transforms you have to transform yourself that's it but five people work one person will do as a result of this jobs will not be lost jobs will increase but it will increase the nature of how you perform a job will be changed into a different shape that's it so when computers came many people thought that we will be losing jobs we will be losing jobs because in a bank 10 people used to sit and so many records they have to go through and uh, they have to finish all the work but 10 people work using a computer only one person can do jobs have decreased or increased after computers jobs have increased or decreased what do you say so because of digitalization the banking sector has got so many other opportunities to do so many tasks as a result of that jobs have been increased 
so jobs will not go away anywhere because of ai only thing is it will take a different shape where if you are going to learn that part you will become again you will be in the it and jobs will be increased for sure considering many reasons i cannot explain now but it will take around half an hour to one hour to explain but jobs will increase but during the transformation phase because of lot of chaos and confusion what is going to happen somewhat confusion will be there because of that there may be a situation what you are seeing now because of, because of that that is one of the reason for recessions okay because people are not spending money as an investment into new projects they are thinking like maybe this work we can it can be done instead of 10 dollars maybe within 1 dollar i can get this work done using ai in future i'll wait for some time till the ai gets settled down ai present ai is just like computers in olden days so this will evolve so how you have seen the evolution of computer same way ai will get evolved and you'll see uh, some best results out of ai which can be used for industries and personal life and other things okay now you have to learn that prompt engineering and how to develop how to implement the developmentation testing bug fixing and troubleshooting uh, in all these aspects you need to learn the technology where you are going to use open ai tools let's say chat gpt you can use copilot you can use gemini you can use bard you can use your wish that's up to you but whatever the tool you use no worries you should be able to learn how to utilize this ai into technology that is mandatory that should be there in all of our students resume that's our motive that's why we are introducing ai who will be teaching ai i will be teaching ai okay but that is not immediately at the beginning maybe after four months when you are in internship i'll be taking separate sessions on ai to let you learn how easily things can be done using ai when you are a programmer for that prompting for prompting should you have good communication skills english language skills is it mandatory is it mandatory do you think prompt engineering requires english language skills yes or no good english language communication skills yes or no online students is it mandatory that you should know english language for prompt engineering no it's not mandatory you type in your own language the tools will give result you are you are chatting in telugu language typing in english right same way you give the script to it it is going to execute and give you the result okay so here language is not a barrier at all okay you are typing the prompt in english you're typing in telugu language you're typing in tamil you're typing in malayali what language you type ai can understand it no worries no doubt about it so that's on your comfort you can type your query okay or you can you can type in your own language it will generate the query that we will introduce in middle this is going to make your profile stronger compared to maybe your competitors competitors okay somewhere else if you are learning maybe this ai may not be there so as of now no one has integrated ai into the technology i mean like teaching wise but we are doing it for the first time we are going to integrate it after you are at certain level in the development then you are going to get this session separate sessions you'll be getting on saturdays okay extra hours your sessions will be from monday to friday there may be chance that saturday sessions also sometimes will be conducted but exams will be there on saturday interviews will be there on saturday okay this is the update i wanted to give you and mainly we are conducting this program i mean like internship part and all just to not only to encourage you we are getting so many requirements open positions where they are asking for the internship okay not only trained candidates but also they are intern means having good knowledge okay so we will mold you in that way to uh, uh, let's say make you as an expert in the respect to technology please be ready to learn your presence on every day attendance at least 80% is must okay clear everyone so do you have any further questions anyone has any further questions on this how can i see the list of attendees people okay so does anyone have any further questions online do you have anything else to say we can wind up huh? so tomorrow also use the same meeting link meeting link will not be changing for online students and classroom you decided to come to classroom you come down to classroom 
any students who have joined online if you want to switch to classroom anytime you are welcome no worries and be informed and come back here come here classroom students are an emergency if you're going anywhere you cannot come down to classroom but you can attend maybe on phone or laptop or somewhere don't miss the class try to attend okay you request us we will give you meeting link no worries okay but the thing is don't miss the class regular practice is required we will make you to practice just follow our guidelines follow our process there is a defined route okay that starts here and it is going to end at the job if you follow this if you follow us definitely you will be able to get into job for sure okay additionally to make your profile stronger we are going to add ai also different ai tools ready to learn that it is dead easy okay fine but that makes you different and you are now there in the market to take the open new challenges you are a kind of person you accept the new challenges and you learn that's what we wanted to prove by making you learn ai okay this full stack with ai included okay clear everyone okay fine we can wind up i am going to close the meeting tomorrow also same meeting link if you want to talk to us personally suppose you have some personal doubt or question which you cannot ask in the class maybe during the demo sessions time you can reach out to us on our inquiry number what is the number it's given right you have the number admin number you can reach out to admin number anytime and you can talk to admins to get the advice or you can talk to trainer they will give to trainer he will be available on certain doubts and clarifications and get clarified and then you can continue but you don't need to make the fees payments today itself it's time is there okay three four days time five days time is there first thing is you attend regularly then you decide after a few days okay okay clear everyone okay you can wind up for today you'll be continuing tomorrow with your trainer thank you everyone okay thank you i'm going to close the meeting thank you for joining everyone.